Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for March the 4th through March the 10th. And listen, first of all, I want, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I really hope you enjoy these readings and that you'll come back. And if you are returning, thank you. You just bring joy to my heart. Thank you. Um, thank you for the shares, likes and comments. And listen, this week is huge astrologically. I'm going to make the horoscope readings very short, as short as possible. And um, so that we can go straight into uh, your card reading. I have been listening to you guys. <laughs> um, but I just want to say what's what's really happening, because I don't want to repeat myself on every video, on every um, horoscope, you know, zodiac sign. Uranus is moving into Taurus and it will be there um, and it's moving into Taurus on Wednesday uh, March the 6th and it will be there until the year 2026. It's huge. It's going to be there for seven years. This is a huge shift, a paradigm shift and, and it depends how it affects you as to where uh, which area of your natal chart it moves into. Um, so we will touch on that in the horoscopes. But I, I just want to say Taurus is about money. It's about, you know, security. It's about banks. Uranus is the sudden happenings. It's like thunder and lightning. It shakes the status quo up. It's about revolution. It's about innovation. It's the higher mind, science. Um, really some, inc we will we will definitely make some huge um, uh, innovative steps forward in farming, in um, food production, in uh, in cleaning the planet, clearing it up. And also this is about equality, right? So um, it's really interesting. I've uh, we're already seeing um, things that are happening and playing out on the political field. This is not a political channel, so I won't go into it. But, you know, um, we are moving in a more progressive um, direction. Let's put it that way. Um, so that's exciting. Now, on Tuesday, it is Pancake Tuesday. That's what we call it in England. It's Shrove Tuesday here. Wednesday's Ash uh, Wednesday, we also have a new moon in Pisces on Wednesday too. So there's huge things going on planetarily that will affect us. Um, and what else? On Friday, it's Women's Day. So happy Women's Day. Happy Pancake Day. I remember my mum used to make these lovely pancakes, not liking, not like American pancakes. They don't like American pancakes. They like cakes, right? Pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. But in England, they're more like crepes, you know, very thin and mm, delicious. I used to love coming home from school and having uh, pancakes for tea, as we say in England. That means dinner. What's for tea, mum? Oh, pancakes. I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello Gemini and welcome to your reading for March the 4th through March the 10th. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Um, now what's happening? A lot is happening guys astrologically but I'm going to make this very short and sweet for your horoscope. I will say as you, from the intro you know that Uranus has moved into Taurus uh, um, or will do on Wednesday. Um, and at the same time, there'll be a new moon in Pisces. These are new beginnings. Things are. And this is really happening in your house of um, karma. I feel that you're really kind of going to um, really be able to look at yourself and what you want. And I feel like this is going to be a very spiritual journey for you for the next seven years. It's really finding out where you fit into the world and what you want to do and which direction you want to go in. Um, I feel that you'll really get to know yourself. And, and this is you kind of uh, behind the scenes. These are kind of... I, 
you, I think you're going to do some soul searching for sure. This is definitely what's happening for you. Um, which area do you want to work in? That's it. Look, this is an opportunity for you to grow for sure um, and to evolve. This is definitely a house of evolvement. And I think you just need to be aware uh, that you this is also the house of undoing so just um be aware of that don't do anything that's harmful to yourself you know uh or that's potentially harmful um like if you're doing anything kind of nefarious or anything like that you're liable to get caught things like that so you don't want to do look uranus is shaking up the status quo so if you've been in a rut it's going to get you out of the rut it, you know, there are sudden happenings that's going to uh, occur. Um, let's get to the bottom of this. Uh, clarify. Why is the five swords here for Gemini? Um, this is definitely about psychic ability and psychic powers, darling. I feel that you are going to really, your intuition is going to take off. Higher learning. I feel that you're also... Um, you could be working on something very innovative behind the scenes, something really interesting. It's definitely uh, going to interest you. Any kind of innovative... Uh... Oh, look at this. Endeavors. Very nice. Oh, you are getting tons of cards here. Oh, there you go. Oh, lovely. I knew it. I knew to take that card up. Okay, so the first card out for you is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is conflict, but it's. I feel that this is a battle where you could possibly uh, humiliate the person that you're in the battle with. And so this is saying um, sometimes the power is in admitting that you're wrong or looking at your limitations. And I feel that you may... Uh, be in this uh, argument and it's taken on a life of its own and it's because you've kind of got some self-esteem issues going on and that's why you're kind of uh, like a dog with a bone with this uh, so you may be in conflict with someone and it could be with someone at work but it could be a family member and it could be because you, uh, for some of you, I really think it's you're fighting over money. Um, so I think it could be a family. Don't forget, this is a, um, a general reading. It's for the collective. Um, I feel that some of you are, are arguing or you're in a battle over money and it's you don't want to let it go um, because someone has kind of been a little... Um, what's the word I want to say? Um, there's money there for you, but the person who has left this money or who is uh, distributing this money is not very clear on how it's supposed to be distributed. So there's some kind of argument there. Uh, it could be between a family member. It could be somebody outside the family. Um, but there is definitely um, something going on here. What I would say is um, handle this really diplomatically and I don't think you should avoid this conflict at any at any cost. But I also don't think that you um, don't go in swords ablazing and don't humiliate the other person. And, you know, even if the other person is humiliating you, you take the higher ground and um, and get a mediator if you have to. But don't um, don't put the I'm not saying don't put the swords, put the sword down kind of thing. But don't avoid the conflict. I think that it's important for your self-esteem for you to stand up and and say what, and do what you think is right. So take action for the higher good of everyone and make sure that it's equal and make sure that it's right. And I and I think that things are going to work out because you've got the star card and that's a healing card and she spreads light where there was once darkness and your path will be shown. I feel that you're going and look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, things are really going to work out in your. F oh, 
MG. I just saw these cards. <laughs> Things are really going to work out for you, Gemini. Look at this. The star card is a deep healing, right? And your path is going to be shown. And cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. You have the first card is the sun, darling. The sun is shining on you. This is a brilliant, brilliant card. Um, and the next card is public accolades. So you're definitely coming out triumphant in this, uh, in this battle or conflict or whatever it is. And you're going to, the way you handle it, if you handle it really diplomatically, you will get accolades for that. You will be rewarded. And you've got this difficult journey. It's about balancing the two energies, light and dark, yin, yang. This is, you know, this is coming through a battle triumphantly. But also this is saying, don't stop, keep going, keep the momentum going. And look, darling, the next card is the, <laughs> the ace of pentacles this is a, an incredible opportunity this is growth this is this is seeing um the uh fruits of your labor it, you you're seeing the sprouts and you've got clarifying it you've got the will of fortune darling i don't think that this could turn out any better for you at Gemini, this is cha-ching. You've hit the gold mine. The only thing I would say, and this is going to come out really well for you, um, keep the higher ground. You know, come from a higher perspective. You know, remember that, you know, to treat people with kindness and compassion and, and don't underestimate yourself. You know, uh, here you've got the five of pentacles. Don't, don't, don't drop this battle because, darling, <laughs> don't avoid this conflict. You know, don't give up because um, you're going to get what's rightfully yours. Gemini, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment. All the uh, links to the other videos are below, so check out your sun, moon and rising. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you next week.